unfortunately, the Sebastian Rogers case, maybe almost unprecedented, has more drama than uh, most of the cases, certainly the missing cases that we look into. Uh, I think it's paralleled a lot in so many ways uh, to the Summer Wells case in terms of drama, in terms of you know, the parents in terms of uh, the interest in the case and possibly in terms of some culpability. But I want to touch first on, I'll call it the elephant in the room, uh, which uh, we know that Bullhorn Betty, who many of you know, uh, was arrested, sadly, I say because, again, it just so detracts from Sebastian Rogers. I just, the whole situation, in my opinion, our conversation should always be about facts and always be about rewards and, and be about the latest going on the case. But somehow every week there's a new twist, a new person, a new name, a new situation that arises that detracts from Sebastian Rogers. Now, I will say that I think Bullhorn Betty has spent a lot of time and energy on the case. Uh, I think that, you know, she certainly has put forth effort to try to bring forth attention to Sebastian Rogers, but many people can argue why, you know, what was her motive. Um, only Bullhorn Betty can really answer that question, and I am not here to cast aspersions uh, regarding Bullhorn Betty. She was arrested at Sebastian Rogers' vigil. I'm just so disappointed that she went. I'm so disappointed that, again, an event that should have been focused on Sebastian Rogers, on uh, this motorcycle group raising money, that money going to a uh, a pet shelter in the name of Sebastian Rogers on remembering Sebastian Rogers, raising a candle to him. Um, again, divert.